if then else statement sometime in our code we need to add some degree of logical statements in our code one of the basic logical statement we can use is is if statement so what is if statement and how it works if statement is used to check to see if something is the case or giving it a condition if the condition or the case is true we perform one action which is under the if statement if it is not true it, it will not perform that action and it will just move on or bypass the action that we wanted to perform because the condition was not true in this example we have given age is equal to 60 what will happen with this if statement is age is less than 50 we can see that this condition is not true so this will not print group 1 what it will do is it will just go forward to the next line of the code which is outside the if statement which is print done with if if we go to our code and try to run it we can see that if you select it all and if you run it we can see that it printed done with if why because it bypassed this print line which was part of this if statement the next variants of if statement or uh, if condition or the next part is if statement if else statement what it does it with nothing we are just adding one more statement which is else one more condition that is else so what it does is if our condition with the if statement is not true it will just directly move to the else state else part and it will print the second condition that we wanted to print meaning that this whole uh, statement if else will give you at least one result so at least one output you are guaranteed to get so if statement is true then you will get something if it's not true it, it you will get something which was part of the else so if we try to we will see the how it, the code works here we have given age is equal to 60 over here and if the age is less than 50 which is not true it is supposed not to print group 1 it will just bypass and it will go to the else statement where the second condition or any second action that we wanted to perform is given if we run this code it will just print out group 2 one more variance of uh, if else statement is multiple if uh, multiples else condition in if statement so how do we add multiple if conditions elif condition by using the elif operator how it goes is if any of this statement is true like it will first check the condition mark 30 if it's true it will print fail and it will just break the whole uh, loop and it will go to our next part of our code whatever is coming next it will just move out of this whole if elif elif else statement so in this example if we see mark is less than 30 mark is 75 which we have defined and if the mark is 30 it will uh, less than 30 it will print fail which is not the case so it will move to the next elif condition which is mark is less than 60 then print second class which is also not the case it will move to the next elif line where it says mark is less than 80 yes we can see that this condition is true so it will print first class and once this line is executed or one any of one elif statement is executed it will just move out of whole elif else loop and we will just move further with the code we will try to run this code in our spider and we see that yes this condition was true at mark is less than 80 and it printed first class and it forgot any other line of our statement of our code and in next example we can try with the mark is equal to 20 and if we try to run the same code we can see that it was it's uh, giving us to fail why because it was less than 30 and at the first point or the first condition was true it executed and after once execution it will just get out of this whole loop of elif else next is a nested lift which is also a version of else if statements uh, or if else statement as we say what happens is we with the if condition and if it's true it goes into the action part and here we have given one additional condition with if 
so we can just keep going with the if else if conditions if condition then so far whenever the if condition is true it will enter the if uh, conditions actions and it will keep performing wherever it breaks it will just get out of that if, if condition and will go backward to the back stages and finally it will print out whatever we wanted to print or whatever action we wanted to perform like for this example x is 45 and we can see that if x is less than 50 according to x is 45 this is true which will run num return number is less than 50 this is true but this next if line is also under the part of this tab of this x is equal to le x is less than 50 so it will also execute x is less than 40 but here we can see that this condition is not true so what will it will do is it will not enter this any part of this is if x is less than 40 it will directly forego to the else part where it will print number is greater than 40 so this whole nested if loop will print number is less than 50 and number is greater than 40 only and we can try to run the same code in our spider and see how it works so yes we stand it true it has given us the two outputs if one where it was true at number is less than 50 and the next was the else statement because this if statement was not true it printed the next x else statement similarly if we change the value of x to 35 it will if we try to run it it will yes return few lines of the code wherever it was true and if it's not true it will forgo and just get out of the loop so here we see that x is equal to 35 we see the first condition x is less than 50 it is true that's why it printed number is less than 50 next part if we go into if it's less than 40 yes it is also true that's why it will go into printing number is less than 40 which is printed over here the, in the next line it, it says if the x is less than 30 which is not true that's why it will just forego this this line and it will just go to number is greater than 30 which is part of the else statement and after this else statement the condition or loop will break and will get out of it and it has printed number is greater than 30 sometimes we want to iterate through our code for a certain number of time so for loop is a way to go what is a for loop for loop is a iteration statement it allows the code block to be repeated certain number of times generally we see uh, a for loop being iterated through a list if we have a list and we want to iterate through that list for every each element and we want to perform some action on each element we will use a for loop we can also use a sequence a uh, list is also kind of a sequence for a sequential use we can use a inbuilt function range also but uh, but first we will just see the syntax of for loop so this is how a for loop looks like it start with the for and then we have a variable we can give any variable like any arbitrary x y z anything but we want to generally use this i means that it's going to be iterated then we use the in and then we use a sequence how we want the code to be iterated and we can give a range or we can give a list of list and in the code will iterate through the whatever the list is saying or whatever the range we want to iterate it through then we use double uh, one colon and in the next line which is tabbed over the four it is the code block which we want to iterate over and over again according to the sequence or the list that we have inserted here so we will try to run some basic example for loop in our spider code like here in the example one what i have done is i have defined a variable my name my num which is one and what i this next loop and i have written a for loop what this for loop is going to do is i have written the for loop like four i in range one to twenty range one to twenty is a function which generates a generator uh, it's kind of a list and it will generate a list which will con contain values from 1 to 20 so what this for loop will do is the first for first iteration it will assign i's value as 1 and what it will do is 
as well as one meaning that it's, it's going to iterate first time and it will go to our statement block or whatever code we want to uh, go through so what it will do is it will take my num value which was already given over here and it will add in the my num value one so it will give the first value output would be two and it will print my num value is and then my num which means that it will print two in the second time it will go again through it and it will keep going until for and it will be repeated 20 times as of now we have not used this i in r any statement or any block code okay in the next example we will see how to use uh, the variable of the for loop in our code so in this example i have defined one let's first try to run the previous code and see if it's what true or not so we can see that it has started from 2 and it has repeated 20 times okay next is sum x is 0 so we have defined one value sum x is equal to 0 and we have iterated a for loop for value arbitrary value x in a range 1 to 20 what it will do is first it will take the sum x as 0 and for the first value the where x would be 1 it will put here 1 and it will give output of 1 so first output we will be getting is 1 and then the sum x has been changed to 1 and this next time the sum x would be added again 2 so 1 plus 2 would be 3 and re repeatedly it will go again and again so we will see how it worked and in the answer we will see so first time the sum x value plus x was because as sum x value was 0 first addition of 1 was given a value sum x total 1 and in the next iteration the sum x value here was already 1 and from this for loop the 1 was over and the next uh, number in the list was 2 which was taken over here so 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 it was printed over here so it went just like so on on and on so mostly we are going to use this for loop to iterate through a list how we do we go about it or how we can run it so here is a code example and we will try to see it in spider so I have first defined a list which is a list and I have given five or six values in the list so this code over here or this for loop over here what it's going to do is from the list it will take each and every variable or each and every single value one at a time and it will multiply it by two and print it out so first time it will take one and it will multiply it by 2 and return 1 as the answer and then second time it will take 5 and multiply it by 2 and the next line it will print 5 multiplied by 2 which is 10 and it will go on and we will try to run the code and we can see that we stand corrected every time we can see that all the values that we see over here are multiplication of 2 by the values which were given in the list a list next we will move through a break statement for in for loop sometimes what we want to do is we want to break our for loop meaning that we want to iterate through the code only for a certain number of time or only till a certain condition has been true or certain output that we wanted has come so what we can do is in between the code we can just put a if if statement where the condition is true then the for loop will break and we can just close this for loop and we can move further with our code and any iteration that we see would be stopped i have written the code over here and here what we have given sum x is equal to zero and in this whole code what it will do is for range 1 to 200 x will be taking value 1 and then the second iteration will be taking value 2 so on and so on till 200 iteration it will go through so first iteration sum x is 0 so 0 plus x value in first iteration is 1 it has sum x has written us value 1 so it will keep going till sum x's value has gotten to 500 when we see the value of sum x 500 less or more than 500 the code will just break and after that we won't see any iteration if we try to run this code we can see that this has not iterated like 200 times but 
just before 496 this code has stopped why because at this point somewhere the value of sum x went more than 500 and if statement became true where it entered the inside the if statement and broke the for loop and this was how we have uh, the loop was stopped